헤헤. 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 어깨 던져봐. 헤헤. 박수. Yo, what up, Street Togs? Air Kim reporting live from Hadong, South Korea. Yeah, 어이 신났어, 어이 신났어. Yeah, 아빠가 GoPro 녹음하고 있어요. Oh, okay. So this one is thoughts on creativity, how to become more creative. So I think in today's world, actually, creativity. Okay, 아빠 high five. Yeah. Um, creativity is actually the number one thing, right? So, you know, even if you think about the insanely successful, you know, Apple iPhone, stuff like that, it's honestly because of the creativity of Steve Jobs, Johnny Ive, the Apple Photos team, everybody else, design team included. Um, it wasn't a bunch of nerds, right? So, for a while, everyone was trying to cash in on the whole design trend, but they're starting to realize Design runs deep. It's not this superficial, shiny thing. It's actually something deeper. And I think it's actually deeper than design is actually probably creativity. So what does creativity mean? How do we achieve it? So forth. So for the first part, um, I think actually creativity just means having a propensity to create. Uh, propensity means to just lean towards something. And it's just to make stuff, right? So for example, you know, even Seneca throwing Throwing is into water, to me, it could be an act of creativity. Um, making a video, making photos, whatever. Um, making thoughts is a form of creativity and it's uh, very, very important. Yeah, honey, jump on. She might be kitchen. Yeah, she might be here, let me feel. I don't trust him playing next to the rocks with the shoes on because he has less uh, perception or something, whatever it's called. Perception with the feet. Okay. Buxu. All right. Anyways, um, so thoughts on creativity, um, propensity to create. So to just create anything is honestly cool, cool creativity. And I think the bad bias about creativity is people think of creativity like some sort of like demigod status. Right, but in fact, to just like to make stuff is uh, to me the greatest definition of creativity. Um, there's a nice quote from uh, Henri Cartier Bresson. There's a nice quote from Henri Cartier Bresson that says something like, "Even a hair casts its own shadow." Actually, no, 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 that wasn't Cartier Bresson. That was Heraclitus. Even a hair shadow cast its own shadow which means even the world's tiniest thing the world's tiniest rock grain of sand whatever casts its own shadow which means that it's significant could you might know yeah even if you look at the world's tiniest little rock right even this casts its own shadow or even your finger right whatever heavy okay or whenever you throw water stuff in the water even the tiniest rock have a, a splish splash ripple effect right uh, might not be the world's biggest ripple in the world, but it has some sort of uh, effect. Anyways, so why is this significant and important? I think personally, uh, the more uninhibited you could become in creativity and just making stuff, I think it's um, the better. So I think the biggest detriment to creativity nowadays is the notion of doing things cool, cool, good. Um, editing doing things all fancy stuff like that uh, editing as in post-processing or also even just editing your words right so um like writing right so you write something and you get a quote quote editor to edit it to make it sound more professional whatever but the hilarious thing is technically i make my which you might don't. I make my living from blogging and I'm probably the worst ungooderest writer that I know in terms of grammar and punctuation and stuff like that. But I think I've become the most successful because I kind of disregard, you know, rules of style and grammar and stuff like that. And yet 
it's more successful because that's how real people talk, right? Um, also, more recently, I've been using voice dictate on my iPad. Um, I'm sure I get like a quadrillion typos and grammatical issues, but as long as people kind of get the overall gist of what you're trying to say, the, it's important. So, for example, if you're from Southern California, what's everyone's favorite word? Like, oh my god, like, like, like. Now, you remember so much of uh, like my middle school presentation classes about being trying to excise that word from our vocabulary? But it's we're trying to follow this Procrustean bed of uh, grammar rules of writing and talking that is quite boring, I think. And in fact, I think all these people who are trying to do all these quote unquote accent lessons on how to sound more local, I suppose, I think they're doing themselves a, a disservice. I think what's more important is just to practice more and allow yourself to speak more poorly, right? So <clears throat> even nowadays in Korean, like people always criticize my Koreans that, oh, you speak Korean like a white person, right? Even I remember like in um, middle school, high school, when I would say bop, bop, rice, bap, bop, gucci my doggy. I love my doggy. I love my doggy. High five. Yeah. 